What's going on, guilty guys and gals? Welcome to the finale of Fire Emblem 7. I have a strat for this. Um, originally, I thought that the dragon moved if you didn't surround it. Because that's just what I've always done before. You don't have to do that. It's not a thing you have to do. So we're not going to do it. I'm just going to stand here and let him attack me and then attack him. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not worth... Okay. Rex it is. Uh, he does have a support with Louise, so I guess I'll put her somewhere nearby. Um, I want to put her in Rebecca's spot, so I gotta move her out of the way. Um, <clears throat> these two mages are the worst. Um, Bolting Guy is not so bad, but Sleep Guy... I don't want to talk about Sleep Guy, alright? He sucks. I hate him. He's my least favorite of all the guys. Although Bolting Guy does attack Florina all the time, so I'm just gonna have to move her out of the way for now. Um, I've also decided, <clears throat> like right now I've decided, that uh, I don't care about Oswin anymore and I'm just going to sacrifice him. Because honestly, he has done nothing for me but made me sad that he couldn't have showed up earlier and I could have had a thief. So, whatever dude, you can just chill down here and die. They like dim apples. I actually want his vulneraries though. Um, actually, does Nils have a bunch? He's got one. Uh, I can get rid of a Ninnis Grace. Because I'm probably never going to use that now. Um, I could also just, like, trade it to Florina, but I don't think I can now. Yeah, because that would... Well, that would just get him killed by the dragon, and I don't really care, so... Um... These are actually might be useful. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And this is how you kill somebody that you're not a fan of. You sick an entire dragon on them. He's got 10 crit. Oh, I was gonna say, what does the dragon even look like when he crits? Now I know. Interesting. Wow, Oswin didn't even like... Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, this is kind of annoying, though. Ooh. Alright. <clears throat> that wasn't the uh, most optimal first turn. No! Okay, there's no way this will hit. It's 30%. Right game? Right? Game? Game? Are you kidding? How though? How though? How though? How does that happen? Though? Excuse me though. Oh lord. <clears throat> I don't get it, how that could be a thing. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna go ham on this turn, because I can. Um, actually, no, I can't. No, I can't. Uh, well, maybe I can for this turn, and then next turn I'm just going to be doing normal damage to him. Which is alright. Because what I can do is I can attack, take the hit, heal, and still be able to take a hit. I'm fairly certain. If not, this would be the time to try it. <laughs> and I want to get this over with, because I've been uh, practicing doing this for, like, way too many times than I'd like to admit. <laughs> um, and then, like, Farina can be like, hey, I'm going to heal you. And then they do. He only has to get more than 37, which he, of course, does. Cause he is Hawkeye. And then I can just like go, hey, come with me. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> I need Rebecca to get that staff, but I don't want to put her in sleep range. Where's sleep? Oh, I just had her one too close. Okay. Don't trade with her. Um, yeah, give me that. Uh, the problem is, actually, can that guy reach all the way up to the top? No. Okay. That works. Wonderful. Because Dart shouldn't really take any damage, as long as I keep him up here now. Alright. <clears throat> the stage is set. Nah. I kind of like how the dragon, like, does a little dance before he attacks. He's like, nah. I'm attacking you. Yeah. 
The dragon looks kind of weird. I don't know what it is. I think he's got like a case of my face is too long syndrome. It's kind of hard to tell. But there's something wrong with him <laughs> that I don't like. Okay, that misses. Not the 30% for the sleep, but that one misses. Fair enough. I guess I should count my blessings or something. Um, Definitely Ninus. Definitely not Ninus. I want Fila's. Fila's might. And then this turn's a low damage turn, because I have to use an elixir. Woo! Stay. And then I just, like, pick up Dart with Dorkass in this case, because I don't want to run back here. And I can just, like, pop and lock and drop him somewhere else. Um, I want to drop him here. Oh, yeah, no, I can, because I don't have to heal, um... I don't have to heal Hawkeye this turn, so I can heal Dart. I think I was calling him Dorkass, but that's okay. You knew what I was ta you know what I was saying, right? Right? I don't know. Yay, you got magic. Just in time. <laughs> um, so now Rebecca can actually go up with a heal staff as well. Uh, what she's going to do. I guess I could have healed Dart for his last two hit points, but I don't think that's worth it. I only have nine after all. Um, I could trade and then Kanto, couldn't I? I think you can do that. Ah, it's not worth it. There's no point. There's no point. Get him. Sick this dragon. <clears throat> Sick him good. Last time I did this, I had Athos, and I just feel as might him and got a crit and one-shot the dragon. But for some reason, I just didn't get Athos this time. I thought Athos was, like, locked to where we got Legault. But apparently not. Hey, I can see the hit points. That's cool. Wow. Just gonna shoot at him again, huh? This time it misses. Seriously, Dart? Dart! That's literally the opposite of what your name is! You're supposed to get out of the way! You're supposed to dart out of the way, you know? You know? <clears throat> I'll use Rebecca on him, because he doesn't need it as much. <laughs> actually, what is her magic in comparison to Farina's now? I don't actually know. 14 to 16, so it's not that much of a difference. Alright, this is a high damage turn. Don't Ninus Grace. Don't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> and then eventually this guy's gonna run out of bolting and I can have free reign. But that's eventually. Which is never soon. Oh, I should have done it with Dorkass. That was my that was the way I had it set up. Oh well. Um, oh, actually, I need him. No, he's got HP. He's got HP. We're good. Wow, wow. This is a great final battle. So good. It couldn't have just ended with Nurgle. <laughs> Take, drop. I'm sorry. It takes way too much of my focus to just do rescue strats properly. Like, honestly. Oh, no. This is supposed to be a low damage turn. I think I'm kind of stuck in a low damage turn uh, for a bit. That's fine. Um, I can just wait. I got feelist, right? Yeah. That's fine. I can wait. I was supposed to have, like, another healer on board. I can always just back Hawkeye up for, like, one turn, but... I don't know. Feels like a waste of time for me. You know what would have made this map really cruel? If the Bolting guy could hit you while you were fighting the dragon. <laughs> Finally! Jesus, man. It's not that hard. Just step backwards, dude. <laughs> Imperfect sync with lightning, but you know what I mean. It's not that hard. You can totally do it. I've done it before. It's easy. All right. Hopefully this puts him over 37 so he can attack again. 
Uh, let's actually just resolve this first and put dart here for Fila's. Fila's might. <clears throat> I wish I had two dancers so bad. Because <laughs> then I could just Fila's. And then, um... And then dance for them so they could, like, heal themselves or something. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be so cool. This is the one that needs to put him over 37. So we'll see if that happens. No. No, it did not. Um. So is it worth it to heal him with Farina as well? I mean, I can, so I might as well. Save an elixir. But put him back to full health. Seems good to me. So maybe I should, uh, well, no, because, no, actually, that probably, no, actually, that wouldn't be good. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking to myself, so just don't even worry about it. Um, so next turn, we're only going to have Rebecca for healing, which is all right, I guess. Yeah, okay. I mean, we've only got four more turns, and then it's dead anyway. Plus, I can throw, like, Vita in to take the final shot if I have to. For the last couple turns. It'll be great. Meow! Oh god, shut up. Dude, you're so dumb. I hate your stupid fires. Just Alright, here we go. With another miss for your boy. This is why I should never rap. Just don't let me do it. Hey, Louise is back. Great. <laughs> So glad. You're gonna be super helpful, Louise. I just know it. Alright. Um It's time for more might. Hello. Welcome to Might. I don't know what voice that is. I got I I picked up all my voices from somewhere, right? I think that's just how life works. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh but I definitely picked up all my voices from like most of them from like YouTube. I just don't know who I took that from <laughs> normally I could be like oh yeah this was from uh, I can support I can support with dart hey okay oh Rebecca you're not a pirate anymore dude just chill out oh I should have not supported with dart apparently because that counted as healing him or counted as my entire turn rather uh, so we're gonna trade we're gonna take that heal staff and then we're gonna go here, we're gonna trade. I'm gonna take that heal stave. We can have this elixir, I guess. Boom! We did it. We saved Dart's life. Good, because I need him deeply. I need him deeply. I don't know what that means, but it's probably not good. Um, and the Hawkeye's just gonna have to heal himself, because we got distracted by other things that were happening. Well, that's fine. Next turn we kill this thing, right? Right. The other boltings? Yay! We can stop worrying about it. Just in time. <laughs> Give me your big, your big lizard. Your big Charizard. He kind of looks like a Charizard. I don't know. Can we have Charizard had wings made of fire? That'd be crazy. <laughs> that's such like a dumb point I've just made. It doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of in the air now. Uh, okay, Vida, how much damage can you do, exactly, with Rex? Three. So you're probably not going to actually do anything at all. I'm so glad I spent all that effort to get Rex hostile for you. Honestly, just so glad. Um, so, Fila. And then all my resources have to go into healing this man. I don't need Dart next turn, so I can just, like, run away with him. I just have to heal him over 37 points. Does Louise have better magic than Farina? No, it is worse. It's actually worse than Rebecca, so I should probably give her that back. Wait, I took Farina's staff? Oh, oh and that's not good. Okay, um, give staff back. <laughs> give staff back. 
Okay, we did it. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's going to cut it, but we'll see. You know what? Let's just not risk it. Let's just not risk it. Why would I risk it now? I don't have to, so why would I? Oh, I probably should have at least taken Dart out again then. Oh, well, I forgot. What can you do? <laughs> Shut up. Nobody likes your dang screaming all over the place. My little dragon's gonna punch your big dragon face. Hey, look at that. We can perfect damage you next turn. If I can somehow get Dart again, but I can't, so... <laughs> um, question. Vida, first off. Take, drop, wait. You can do three. How much can Hawkeye do? Five. Okay, well, nope, nope, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening, actually. I'm actually just going to bring Hawkeye back. And Elixir. And then I'll put Vida in the range, just so Vida gets to feel like she's done something. Right? That sounds good, right? I'm going to get him! You go for it. You go, girl. You go, girl. Okay. Um... Yes, that is my plan. Dun. Edgy dragon, meet. Um, large dragon. Large dragon, fool. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. Yeah. Now we don't perfect damage him anymore, but you know what? I don't care. You're dead, loser! Oh right, I need Fila's Might first. I knew that. Can you imagine if I Ninus Graced right there? That'd be embarrassing. Not deadly, because I could just, like, you know, wait another turn. But it would be embarrassing. Actually, you know what? Let's hit him from the front and drive him right back through that gate, huh? Huh? Hit him right back into that gate, huh? Hit him right in his dang face, huh? I can't believe... Okay, not gonna say it. My mouth is sealed. I can't believe we never missed one of those. I had like 90 hit. There's... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> He's going to throw up all over the carpet. Get him outside. And by outside, I mean inside. But it's sort of outside, because he's like outside, right? I don't know, man. But we killed him. Actually, Hawkeye did all the work. Hawkeye killed him. But Dart helped a little bit. Hollywood, I'm gonna push you through the portal. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. Lord Hollywood, stop yelling at me. It's okay, I'm fine. Jeez. What, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> well done, brave successor to Roland. He didn't do anything, though. He's actually a level one archer right now. You know what? Sniper Hollywood probably would have been kind of cool, but... I'm not training a level one archer. Lord Athos? It's time for us to die, friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They talk so slow. Looks like I'll die before you, friend. I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> no, Kenny. For now, I will sleep again. Ah. Hollywood, Hector, Lynn. I'm the goat. Why am I the goat? I, I didn't want to be the goat. I'm done. I'm done with this world. Uh, okay. That's enough. No. Graybeard. Hey, I'm alive though. Isn't that cool? <laughs> hey, wait. You're alive? I spent like eight years grieving about that. Hey, where are you going? No, come back. And then they lived happily ever after. Hector went on to say daybreak. Lynn went on to say beautiful, isn't it? Start of another day. <laughs> they both said very redundant things before Elliewood told them to go home. They were drunk, and Hector was showing it, apparently. There we go. We're done. What happened to our beloved heroes? 
Our beloved one hero. <laughs> Just a Hawkeye. <laughs> I'm kidding. Look, it's... Mary Jellywood? I can't actually remember. Will you attend my ascension? Right. Nope. He's getting crowned king. He's not getting married. He's getting married to the throne, perhaps. I mean, he could be getting married, but I didn't S-support him with anybody. <laughs> These clothes? I look silly, don't I? Yes. Yes, you do. Oh, well, dress is so stiff. I can't stand it. That's not the voice I would give Hollywood. But, um, this is Rebecca, so don't even worry about it. Everything's finally resolved. I'll succeed my father as town villager in that one place. I don't know if I'm equal to the task, but I'm going to do my best for all the pe- Okay, you talk so slow. I get it. Guilty. You. Do you really have to go? Yes, I really do. I've got other series to do. I'm sure you understand. Ellie would stop. Ellie would. Ellie would, please. Ellie would. Ellie would, I like you, but you're, you're, <laughs> you're wearing my nerves thin. Okay. Goodbye, Ellie would. Okay, you're still here. Hey, <laughs> I'm still here. No, this is definitely farewell. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that with your weird right eye that's brown for some reason. Yes, you'll see me again in Fire Emblem Heroes. Choose your legends number two. Great, I'm glad these staff... I'm actually very glad for those staff. They made one of my favorite games. So, I should probably not be sarcastic about that. <laughs> 15 turns. 37 turns in Noble Lady of Kaelin. 32 in Badon. That was arena abusing. Living Legend was 36. I don't remember which one that one is. Um, 22 for light. 391 turns. I don't know what that equals. Oh, right. Marcus, Knight of Fere. Oh, right. Yeah, Sane died in um, Victory or Death. Lowen, the Swift Knight. <laughs> Lowen, or Hawkeye replaced Lowen as the most famed knight in all of Fere. His endless zeal served Fere well. Throughout his life. No kidding. Literally the best team member. Uh, Dart, a wildflower. Dart returned to his father, then pledged service to House Fere. He has formed a family, and yet he still serves Fere well. Good. <laughs> Good for you, Dart. Dorka, or er, Lowen, Ser Serene Warrior. Lowen returned to Fere and used the money he earned by medicine for his wife. Wouldn't be Natalie, though. She recovers rapidly. Yay for Lowen. I didn't know his wife was sick. Bartra. Wild Axe Fighter. More like Kent, Wild Axe Fighter. Kent continues his quest from country to country. Rumors say he fell in love with his own mortal enemy. That seems unlikely. <laughs> it, that's Sane, after all. And Sane's dead. Uh, uh, Oswin. No, this is Wrath. I forget which way it goes. Wrath served as a vassal to Marcus Ostia. His was a calm, reasonable voice in Lysia's ruling government. That seems like Wrath. <laughs> Sarah, thief and spy. <laughs> Sarah continued her service as a spy for House Ostia. The memory of her beloved Layla lingers on in his heart. Her heart, her heart. Wow, that's a crack ship, but all right, I'm there for it. Louise, outspoken cleric. <laughs> she really did become a cleric, didn't she? Uh, Louise returned to Ostia. She spent much time tending to her own affairs, but lately she's begun to enjoy her free time. Good for you, Louise. Number 13. Choose your legends. Uh, Bartra, mounted swordsman. I don't remember that. Bartra continued in his quest to be the finest um, swordsman in all of Sake. His form was so perfected that all called him the Saint of Swords. Ironic. Uh, Raven, studious mage. <laughs> wow, that fits too well. Uh, Raven returned to Etruria and was asked to succeed the retiring Lord Pent. He refused and devoted his life to the study of magic. Great. Good job, Raven. I could have used you, but I didn't. <laughs> Guy, secluded prince. Guy was a prince? Guy returned to Etruria's Count Caleron. Caerleon. His adopted parents met him not with harsh rebukes, but with tears of joy. Oh, good for Guy. Hector. Um, mage, I guess. After Lynn abdicated rule from Kaelin, or of Kaelin, Hector returned to Ilia. He remained shy, but his shyness has made him strong within. Wow, so much like Hector. Matthew, the Crimson Shield. After Caelan was placed under Ostian rule, uh, Matthew became a steward. His dedication earned him the love of his people. 
Hey, he's like a monk, right? That fits pretty well. Uh, Urk, the Lance, whatever. When <laughs> Ostia took over the rule of Kaelin, Urk resigned and became an independent knight. His love of women is unchanged. Wow, Urk. I mean, I don't want to say I never knew, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, Pent. Died at Sands of Time. Unfortunate. Oh, man, now all the deaths are coming in. Lucius died at Imprisoner of Magic. Not Lucius. <laughs> Will, the Light. Will lived a modest life in a remote corner of the Arafen. Of Arafen, not the Arafen. He built a small orphanage where he now cares for helpless children. That seems pretty in character for Will, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Farina, Seeker of Wisdom. Farina returned to her family in Ilia. Some years later, she and her wife died trying to stop a snowstorm. Her child was raised by her old mother. Wow, that's sad. Farina. <laughs> Hey look, it's Karel, Badon's commando. Karel took a grave wound protecting Fargus in a skirmish. He vanished at sea, but rumors claim he might be in Fere. Hey, good for you, Karel? I don't know. Uh, Ninian, wingborn warrior. Uh, <laughs> Ninian flew many missions as the head of a mercenary company. Her donations saved many poor families in Ilia from destitution. That seems fairly in character for uh, Ninian as well. Oh yeah, Nino. Died at Living Legend. Real glad for that. <laughs> oh. After the dragon can bid farewell to the land- Oh! That's Nils and Ninian! I killed them both! <laughs> um, they return to their new world, meeting everyone warm the hearts of these ice dragons, with the hope that man and dragon can live in peace. They kind of look alike, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, Jafar, escort of Fere, died in the final chapter. Nils, wolf of Sakai. Nils returned to his tribe in Sakai. His deeds earned him warm greetings from his father, the famed Silver Wolf. See, I knew there was something about wolves and wrath. Priscilla, desert guardian. <laughs> Priscilla returned to Nevada and lived peacefully in Arcadia with her daughter, whom she trains to be the guardian of the desert. Wow. Epic. <laughs> Renault, Crag of Kaelin. Renault intended to return to Kaelin, but he got lost and ended up in the Dread Isles. He now spends his days tilling the frozen soil. Okay. Who are these people? Oh, it's Pent Louise. Oh. Isadora, wounded in victory of death, returned to her homeland. Ne er, at Elliewood's invitation, Elliewood started a quiet life in a small village in Faray. He plans to return to Burn to visit a certain some cemetery. Jeez, Elliewood, you invited yourself to a funeral? Anyway. Vida. She's just Vida. Some rumors say Vida died at the hands of Burn forces. Others say she now serves Burn's princess, er, Prince Zephiel. Princess Zephiel. Could happen, I guess. Heath, Burden Bishop. Died at victory or death. <laughs> Archsage Le Legault. Legault died in a foreign land. Those who saw his face said he seemed as though he had at last found true peace. On Fort. And then Marilinus, who nobody cares about. Marilinus opened a shop in Ostia, but it was forced to close. He plans on reopening with some aid from Lord Elliwood himself. Himself. You mean Lord Rebecca. Whoops. Um, Florina, noblewoman of Sake. Flor when entrusted... Uh, Florina entrusted Kaelin's rule to Ostia and returned to the plains of her birth. She often thinks fondly on the people of Kaelin. Alright. <laughs> Dorcas, general of Ostia. Dorcas returned to Ostia and became her Marcus. His bond and friendship with Rebecca remained eternally strong. Well, that's nice. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca succeeded her father as the Marcus of Fere, as the leader of that one town. Her sincerity and her clear guidance made her his father's equal in all eyes. Oh my god. It's really hard to read these. Guilty. Famed genius? Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Actually, I did pretty badly, to be honest. But there we go. That's what happened to all the famous people. And now, we're at that one town. Oh no, this is Hector. So we're at 
Dorcas's castle, I guess. Oh, look how old he is. Look at how old he is. It's gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to hear that. That's just about Fire Emblem 6. Finn. Finn. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this series. It's been a blessing um, to do this. It's been really fun, honestly. And I'm up for Fire Emblem 7 if you guys want it. You have to show me you want it, though. <laughs> Because <laughs> um, this was like a long period uh, for this to be a thing. Um, so yeah, drop a like on the video if you want to see more. Um, if you definitely want to see more and you really want to see it on time, hit that subscribe, hit the bell. It's easy as one, two, three. Because those are three buttons you have to hit. That's all I want. Actually, there's one more thing I want. Two more things. Wow, I want a lot from you today. Uh, comment your favorite character. Who was your favorite character in this entire run? Was it Lucius? Was it Heath, who showed up for one chapter and then I killed him? Was it Dorcas? Because he's Dorcas. I want to know. Um, but most importantly, guys, thank you so much for watching my stupid video about Fire Emblem. And uh, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay. Bye.